Hi, I'm Leslie. Hi, I'm Carrie. And welcome, welcome to, to Movie, Movie Talk. Talk. The show where you have real talk about real movies and entertainment news, highlighting up-and-coming producers and independent films. In the first part of the show, we talk about new movie releases and box office results. In the second segment of our show, we share personal segments that we feel make the grade, of course, with our indie picks. So get your popcorn, sit back and relax, and enjoy Real Movies with Real Talk. Welcome to, to Movie, movie talk. talk. Don't forget you can visit us at www.movietalkshow.us. And we are back. I'm so happy to have a, an actress, a poet in our midst, Caitlin Bell Forty. It's a pleasure having Hi. you here today. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, Thank you for coming. And, mm -hmm. and I saw on your website you're also a lover of scarves. So I, I thought yeah. if you could try this on or keep this or if you want to. Oh my goodness. Isn't it? Isn't a woman it, after my I, own heart. And that's one of my scarves. It's not matching me right this. now. I forgot the red one. Isn't it? a lot going on. And too. it has a whole it has a whole history behind it and everything. It does? Yeah. Okay. Well, I have to be careful if it has sentimental value. <laughs> you think? There, it looks very so nice on you. Well? Yeah, I, I, you have to be complete because as it says in your website, lover, lover of scarves. I know. And, yeah, yeah, I'm rocking the green pashmina in my headshot. <laughs> so. I know you are. That's why mm -hmm. I had to bring it out. And what's your um, website? Um, it's www.caitlinbell40.com. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I actually saw some of your reels. Yeah, we really have cool. That you had a real, you know, array of different, you were looking for different kind of feelings and portrayals of different mm -hmm. types of characters. Oh, definitely. How did, you, how, did you put the, how did you put that together? What made you decide upon the choices that you made with the roles that you had mm -hmm. in there? Well, I was very lucky that my good friend Rebecca Farina, a New York-based filmmaker who went to Adelphi University with me where I studied. I studied acting, she studied film. She really had a good eye for these things. And she said, I really like this moment here um, where the first clip, it's a very loud, intense argument between boyfriend and girlfriend. And then, Which I love that. Yeah, the next clip, I'm just more joyous and affable. And then it ends on a very quiet moment. So she had a very good sense for like varying moments and juxtaposing like the variety of emotions. So you could see your range. It's nice mm -hmm. that you had someone too. It's yeah. so much easier, I think, and I act and I'm, I'm a poet as well. Mm -hmm. Looking back, yay, um, having someone else to be that, that like second yeah. set of eyes for you. Oh, yeah. To, to, because sometimes you're very emotional looking at your own work and looking yeah. at yourself, but it's like someone who's like actually saying, okay, you're this way here and this is great if we juxtapose it with this mm -hmm. here. You know, so that's yeah, exactly. so awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. always important to have another pair of eyes. So, so what inspired you to becoming, wanting to become an actress? Uh, as a kid, I was always daydreaming, and every TV show I watched, I would always make up a character for myself and find a way to put myself in the storyline. <laughs> you know, I was always performing for an audience of stuffed animals. So oh I my figured, God, yeah, and dolls and all kinds of other Oh my ways goodness, and, yeah. yes. I mean, we have the same childhood, I think. I know, kindred <laughs> spirits. There so you I go. figure, you know what? I might as well make a living out of this. And Definitely. I started acting in middle school. My first role was Cherry Valance in The Outsiders. Ooh, yay. Yeah, I enjoyed that very much. And I just, I really found my calling. You know, I found out what I'm here for. So you're from New York. I'm from Connecticut, actually, the next door neighbor. Okay. A little bit across the sound. <laughs> Maybe yeah. you said Adelphi, I was like, but I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling, mm -hmm. okay. That's really, that's, so that's cool. It's like, and then you came here for school and you've stayed here since then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So what's one of your favorite movies of all time? My favorite movie of all time is David and Lisa. It was, it was first produced in 1962. They did a remake mm. of it in 1998. It's by this filmmaker named Frank Perry. He's actually Katy Perry's uncle, fun fact. Wow. wow. I just recently found that out. This is and awesome. Yeah, the way it's shot is just so, I can't even describe it. They break so many rules, and it's so fearless and so intimate, and it's about these two teenagers who are in a mental institution. And one of them is a schizophrenic Lisa, and she only speaks in rhyme, and the other is oh, David. Wow. And he's afraid of touch. He doesn't allow anyone to touch him. And it's just about these two people and how they see the good in one another, and they're able to help each other out of their demons. Ooh, you know what? Let's take a look yeah. at that trailer. I was, you, we're right? back in the world. We're <laughs> totally. I'm interested in seeing that. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go see it. Let's go see the clip. Let's see your reel. Okay. Let's go to that. Thank you. Observations. Today is my day. You're lying. No, I'm not. I'm working at four. You need to talk. Talk about what, Sam? 
about everything else that I've done wrong that you feel the need to point out? Look, fail. Don't I make this about you. You said everything was fine and you lied. There's nobody to call to cover now anyway. Why do you even have this job still anyway? So you can keep avoiding me? So you can be some pseudo-intellectual in the dark? I know that's not for school. Why are you even packing your books? These aren't just for cocktail conversations, Sam. Okay, I don't read them just for that reason. And just because you're incapable of comprehending that doesn't mean you need to get upset at me about this it. This isn't about the books. You failed out. Where does that leave us? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to auditions for our musical adaptation of Tennessee Williams' The Glass Menagerie. Now we have all your headshots and resumes. Okay, when you introduce yourself, please state your name and the part you're reading for. Please be sure to choose one of our selected lines from the play to show us what you're made of. Any questions? Yeah, can I plug my phone in? Uh, yeah, I think there's an outlet by the door. But to remind you guys, we would like all phones on silent or completely off. You can all Twitter when you're big stars, okay? And make strong choices! I think all you need to do it is like five shots of Pinnacle and then like six Bay Breezes. And like, I felt so good after I threw up that I went into Joyce's pool and I did a backflip. And it was so weird, like Joyce's uncle, he thought it was really hot. He's like 40 years old, but I think we're pretty compatible. You know, he loves acrobats. I was homeschooled most of my life until my senior year. I guess I like that. <laughs> That's a long time to be homeschooled. Yeah. Blaine, my mother, she wouldn't even let me go to public school for my senior year. Let me change your mind. I threw a serious hissy fit. <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but if I didn't, I never would have met Caleb. Is Caleb your boyfriend? Yeah. He's the only man I've ever loved. <laughs> Where is he now? Ohio State University. He left last week. One of the best schools in the country for veterinary medicine. What he wanted to study and where life took him. There are some film schools out there too, but my mother said no. She said bad things happen to young women who venture far from home. <laughs> That's so ironic because I'm 15 minutes away from my house right now and I may never make it back. That was awesome. Too. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> so much. I can see your passion in acting. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So and like, your way, the wide range, your range is great. I'm glad. I'm really glad that comes across. <laughs> so where are you looking to go with acting? Do you want to be in like comedy, in romance, drama, horror? Mm -hmm. What's Honestly, your specialty? Your goal. Yeah. yeah, this may sound a bit idealist of me, but I want to do it all. Yeah. You know? I feel like I heard this quote one time that says, you create the path by walking it. And I've just been, you know, submitting on casting websites, auditioning, like actors do. And I feel like if there's a director out there who has an interest in me for any project, whatever genre it may be, I feel like if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Definitely. And you like those underdog roles, too. Mm -hmm. I can yeah. relate to that. And yeah. she likes those scarves. Yes, I do. Well, I gave you one. That's my gift to you for this segment. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You've made this underdog so happy. <laughs> I love it. And your social media websites? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm on uh, Facebook. Just um, search for me, Caitlin Bell 40. C A I T L I N, spell the Irish way. There's okay. many different ways to spell my name. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> but yeah, and then um, my website is www.caitlinbell40.com. Okay. And you're on mm -hmm. YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. We can see some YouTube yes. clips. Yeah. So awesome. if any of our viewers want to get in touch, mm -hmm. of course, they can visit us at our website, 
But um, again, I want to thank you for coming on to Movie yeah, Talk Show. Thank you so much. And I wish you the best and much success. And we look forward to having you back. Yeah, we always Definitely. look forward to With being in a visit. film with a trailer. And this time I'll bring you a scarf. Oh, Yay! Oh, my God, I'm really looking forward to this now, Kayla. I'll be sure to see the scarf. I like the leggings. Okay, so leggings for Leslie and the scarf for me. Got it. Got it. All right, thank you again for coming. It was nice having you. And don't forget, viewers, you can catch us at www.movietalkshow.us. Thanks for viewing. Bye. Bye.